Well, I've replaced the starter motor and that system all seems to be working now. Now I'm going to just uh, try and sort out the other things that were confusing me with the indicators, the horn not working, uh, perhaps a couple of other little bits and pieces so that I can get the wiring so I know it all works, uh, not necessarily completely tidied up, but that I don't have anything to concern myself with. The switch is off an American model bike which has running lights so the front indicators stay on and obviously I don't want that for the UK so I found out that the wires are there's a brown and white which actually takes power to the switch and then a light blue and white and an orange and white and they bring the power back to the lights at the side. On a, an American bike these fittings at the side would have a dual filament bulb, one of which stays running as you're driving along, only at the front, not at the back. So I've uh, discovered what they are, I've taken them out. As that's not connected to take power from anywhere, there's nothing there, I don't really need to cover it over. Um, the others are just, you know, can just hang there. Another part that's again for the, an American version of the bike is the indicators having a buzzer and this wire brown with light blue is for the buzzer so it'd go to the buzzer then the buzzer would be earthed now this does have power coming to it when the uh, switches are switched so I do need to make sure that I uh, cover that so that it's well insulated otherwise I could end up with a fire in this rat's nest Another thing that caused confusion was the fact that there is a brown with a light blue stripe or with a blue stripe wire coming from the harness. Now that's the same colour as the one for the indicator buzzer. You'd think they would just join together. Well, let me show you they don't. So keep them separate. You notice this has got yellow on it and actually there should be a wire with a yellow tube round it that then goes to a black wire that connects to black. So it's a power wire and if that isn't connected then the tail lights and the rear indicators won't work. So connected that together, it's one of those unusual ones but it was important. I think I've got most of the connections sorted in here now. So I'm going to have a look at the indicator relay, indicator warning light and then move on to the horn. Not quite sure why the uh, indicator relay is not working. It's something to do with the bit at the bottom, which I think is the delay on when this uh, magnetic switch goes. However, the new one, which is much smaller and uh, is obviously solid state, works a treat. It's a, a shame it just doesn't look quite uh, original. This bike's uh, warning signals only has one light for the turn, but the uh, harness that I'm using is of a bike that had a, a left and a right warning light. Uh, if I just join the uh, existing wiring to this one light, what happens is the power passes through and it causes it to, uh, you know, both to light at once, which is not what I want. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, arrange a little bit of wiring so that uh, whichever way we're turning that one light does come on. I'm sure there are lots and lots of different ways of doing this however uh, this one seemed quite trick and I thought well I'll give it a go. So I'm going to use a couple of diodes these are quite cheap I've never played about with them before I knew what they did but uh, never had the need. Uh, what they actually do is they let the power go through in one way and don't let it back. So my intention is to have the left and the right both feeding into one wire that then lights the bulb up. So that the power should go to the bulb but not cross that junction there and go to the, the other side. So I should end up with either left lights on or right lights on but the warning light either way. So that's what I'm planning to do, mainly just to see if it'll work. I'm sure there are other ways of doing it, but let's have a see what happens here using these nifty little uh, melting things that uh, join wires together 
uh, another new thing that I've not used very often, but uh, I think I'll be able to put this together so it'll work. The diodes are pretty nifty, they let the electricity go only one way. So with this, connect it to a test light, put it on that way, nothing. Turn it around and the power goes through. The way you can tell is if you look at those uh, lines on it, the lines indicate what sort of power ratings and things it'll pass through. And all I need to know is the black bit is the way that the electricity goes. So when I'm using it, that's how I'll do it. Well, that's it in place. I'm going to take it off and make sure it's better insulated and covered over. Yeah, but it works a treat. Just watch this. The horn isn't working so that's going to come off and let's have a look and see if we can fix that.
It's taken a while, but I've got all the electrical systems working. Only thing I'm not sure of now is the charging system, which I'm not going to bother looking at until I know I've got the engine running or not. Had to replace the starter, and there's a different video for that. Indicator relay, I couldn't get the old one to work. I had to fiddle with it and just couldn't, so I've put on a, a more modern one. Uh, the horn wasn't horning. It's now right horny because I've managed to fix it. Perhaps not quite as loud as I'd like it to be. Some confusion with the wiring between the different wiring diagrams, because as I've mentioned before, the loom and the switches are all off different models. And the loom is off, a mo um, the switch is off an American model, which has running lights. And I hadn't spotted that at first, so it was a, a confused me a bit until I sorted it out. Basically, I just didn't wire in the running lights. It hasn't got the right kind of fitting in here to have running lights, which would have a dual filament bulb. Uh, there's also that other famous one where you take a wire of one colour and connect it to a wire of another. A little bit like in your domestic wiring when you, you've got two-way switches and you have one black wire that goes to a red one and you think that can't be right. Well, in this case, it was a brown and blue and it went to black. You wouldn't have thought it did. In the wiring diagram, and I'll show you that, it's actually got some little symbols. It says Y tube, not U tube, and B tube. And it's white tube, uh, yellow tube and black tube that should be on the wire that connects them. <coughs> Obviously, I just didn't have that. I've been involved in a few other projects. You've probably seen the other videos with the, uh, the, the sun's car build. So, uh, you know, I keep getting sucked away from doing this. It's taking longer than I want. I think I'm nearly at the point now of having finished the carbs, which should be in another video, getting an exhaust on it, which should be, and then as far as I can see, oh, sorting the oil out, everything should be there for me to do a first start. That might bring this project to a grinding halt and turn it into a rebuild the engine one, or it might just, with a bit of luck, start, run okay, and then I'm on to thinking, what do I do with this bike? Do I make it standard? Do I make it just a runner? Or do I do something a bit more exotic? Uh, we'll have to have a think about that. If you've got thoughts on it, give us a comment about it. Maybe you think I should scrap it. <laughs>